Good afternoon. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> I'm so busy setting up, I forgot to plug my microphone in. Okay, I'll keep talking. Um, welcome to today's talk. And the topic today is are you spiraling upward or are you spiraling downward? And how to tell the difference, or I should say, how can you tell? And I explain what I mean by that. Um, if you've ever realized that something looks like it's happening again, I'll explain that. Hang on a second. Just plugging in my microphone. All right, excuse my ear. excuse your ears for a second. Uh, some over there. Let me try this out again. Okay, I think we're good. Yes. Okay. So, welcome to my broadcast. Now I'm probably full volume now. Um, so the question again is: Are you spiraling upwards or spiraling downwards? And how to tell the difference, or how do you tell the difference? There's also a third option I'll get to in a moment, but I'll explain what I mean before I get into that once I explain who I am and why I'm doing these talks. Um, hi, my name is Barry Selby. You've seen me probably talk before. Hopefully you have. If you haven't, I'll give you the links to the replays at the back end of the broadcast. I'm an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert, and spiritual guide, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. And I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work with women and why I do what I do. Um, and also what informed these talks starting over almost, excuse me, three years ago. It was December 2016, so getting close to three years now. Called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 860. Another little, little, miles, little incremental milestone. And the topic today is about spiraling. And I mean this in the sense of growth, evolution, change, transformation. And the best way to explain this is to give you an example. If, for example... <laughs> you have found yourself in a situation that feels exactly the same as the situation you were in maybe a year ago or maybe six months ago and you're wondering like how do you get back here again the assumption may be that something's changed but my, but my um, recommendation to you is to look differently and I'll explain what I mean in a moment so this happens particularly in the areas of relationships um, in the areas of circumstance in life. <coughs> Excuse me, getting a little bit cough today. But I've had this thing going on myself. Hi, Jennifer, nice to see my broadcast. Um, I've had this awareness with my coaching and also my own experience in my life where sometimes things can happen again and again and again without changing. And I thought I was changing. And so sometimes it feels like we are actually banging head against the wall because, you know, as, as is quoted from, from um, attributed to Albert Einstein, you know, doing the same thing again and again, expecting different results is the definition of insanity. The thing is, though, are you doing the same thing again and again? See, if you're spiraling downward, it feels like, actually, it's not even spiraling downward. If you're not moving, if you're in the same, the same place, it can feel like nothing's changing. Your relationships aren't, relationships aren't improving. Your personal experience isn't improving. Life is basically staying the same and it's not working. Even though you may be reading the right books, going to do the right study, maybe you're meditating, maybe you're going to workshops, maybe you're working with a coach. And it feels like nothing's changed. But the truth is, maybe you have. It can feel like sometimes nothing's moving, but what's really going on is you may be shifting perspective without realizing it. Hi, Jimmy. Thanks for the love. I appreciate that. What I've become aware of, and I, I, I want to say it's called, I, I think it's called spiral dynamics, and I may be wrong, because I know spiral dynamics is another piece of teaching, but I think it's part of this one too. The philosophy is, and to give you the, the uh, Cliff Notes version, is that as we go through life and as we grow and evolve just naturally as well as through intention, it's like we elevate through life. Meaning that we are actually going around in circles but at higher, higher elevations every single time. Which means in the context of relationships, for example, you may be noticing that you feel like the same relationship is happening again as with the person you were before three years ago. Well, if it is exactly the same, then you haven't moved. You're on the same loop, the same circuit, the same circle. If, however you are in fact growing, you may be experiencing what appears to be the same experience again, but it'll be different. And again, as I talk about it, the idea about spiraling upward is you're actually elevating. So even though you may come back and visit the same places again and again and again, each time you come back, you'll be a higher elevation. What does that mean and what does that feel like, you may be wondering. What it means is that your perspective is shifting, you're elevating, you're becoming more aware, more awake, and you're becoming more conscious. The experience level though, at first glance, because your memory may be playing tricks on you, is you're like, oh, I'm back here again. Oh, crap. Not so fast. 
I have had experiences in relationships, just to be transparent on my own part, where I went through the same relationship experience, my thought was, the same time, different women, but the same experience again and again, three times. Maybe four, let's say three times for now. And in that experience of those relationships, I felt like I wasn't growing, it was really frustrating to me. But when I look back from a truly authentic place now, looking back at the history, I realized every single relationship was different and I was growing every single time. And so what happened was each relationship may have appeared on the surface to be the same, but where I was inside and how I handled each relationship was very different from the one before that. And truth be told, as I look more clearly at what happened, I see exactly the fact that where I was in the last relationship was so much further ahead than I was in the first one of those three. But we tend to paint with the brush of limited thinking a lot. And when we do that, we end up feeling trapped and we feel like we're less than because we feel like we're doing the same thing and not getting results. We, actually, we feel like we're doing something different, but getting the same thing, the same result again, and it hurts and it sucks and it's not fun anymore. So the feeling is there's much more opportunity for us when we consider that. So in the area of relationships, because that's my speciality, it may seem like you may be dating somebody new, but it's the same as the person before. Oh, you're welcome, Jane. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're loving it and glad you're appreciating it. Um, but the thing is, going through this paradigm of relationship and having a different experience, excuse me, having what appears to be the same experience you did last time, may be just an error in thinking. How you tell the difference is to check inside and see how you're dealing with it. And this is the subtlety of this. As we grow and evolve, we're growing higher and higher up our spiritual path, our development, what you would, whatever you want to call that. And I just had a conversation with a friend of mine recently about the idea of the dating arena, so to speak. It's like, and this is about the personal growth journey when you're consciously evolving and growing, whether it's through meditation, prayer work, um, retreats, workshops, books, trainings, coaching, whatever it is. What happens is that we start to go up the sides of what you can imagine to be this, this um, imaginary pyramid. And you're imagining that basically when you're at the bottom of the pyramid, it's at its widest point it's where all the dating opportunities are. Well, not just there, but there's a lot more choice out there because you're not as attached or not as refined as you will be when you go up the pyramid. So as you grow up the side of the pyramid, you notice that the pyramids, they get narrow towards the top. And so what's happening is at certain points along that journey, you may look at dating again, but you'll notice that your dating pool seems to have shrunk. Because at the bottom, there's a lot more people. When you hide the, up, the up the pyramid, a lot less people. And when you get to the top, it's a lot less people. So one of the prices that you end up paying, and I'm, I'm telling you now in case you haven't done this, because I have done this and I know what it feels like, is the range of choices of who you want to go out with is becoming smaller because you realize if you date somebody who's not also grown up the side of the, grown that level of equality with you, it can be hard work and not in a good way. And I'm speaking from experience, not in a good way. So overlaying that on top of this idea of spiraling upward, it means that your relationship choices won't be with the same people either. When you first started out in dating, you had a certain experience, a certain level of skill, a certain level of choice, and maybe a certain um, level of self-support and self-worth. So you only value yourself to a certain point, and that's the level of which you, do, you choose your relationships at. But as you go through life, you start realizing you're more, you're more valuable than you may have thought. You may work, you're more worthy, and you may be looking in the mirror and like you appreciate who you are, or maybe you go to the gym and start working out, or you eat differently, or you start doing personal growth, or you start taking care of yourself, and you look back at yourself from 10 years ago, and you look at yourself in the mirror, and you go, wow, I've changed in a good way. I actually look at pictures I get on Facebook from you know, 10, 11 year anniversaries from before, and I'm noticing I look, I look a lot healthier now. I can take care of myself better. I'm leaner and healthier. And I may, I don't want to be egotistical, but I feel I look better now than I did then. That's a personal opinion. Everyone has their own opinion, of course. But the understanding of that recognizes the fact that you've changed when you get to that point. So it may not be necessarily you've done a lot of you know, digging in personal growth work, but maybe it's just the way your life has changed you. Maybe you've been through some experiences, maybe some traumas that changed you to be more compassionate, maybe more forgiving now. All these things contribute to your being at a higher place in life. So when you choose a relationship, you will choose at a higher point as well. Now, I mentioned that you may have the same experience you think you had before. Yes and no, as I said. That new relationship, because you've now elevated and so is your new partner because you've chosen somebody at a higher level, the same issue may, came up, may come up as did before, and you're like, oh crap, this issue again. But notice that the fact that how you and how your partner deal with that issue is a whole new level of um, awareness, of loving, of understanding. So you may not be as um, upset and, and revengeful as you might have been otherwise. 
Now, if you haven't experienced this, it might not make sense to you to agree, but I'm saying this is true because I've experienced this, is that when you've gone, when you are growing through your journey and you're becoming more present, more aware, more awakened, your relationship choices will change. So any issues that show up from before that still are present in your psyche, in your makeup, in your way of being, will be looked at from a different perspective. Again, the spiral goes upward and you change and evolve along the way. This is maybe a message of hope because <laughs> maybe you're going, I don't want to keep going through the same thing again and again. Well, you will and you won't. You'll have the same experience, adjusting my chair. You'll have the same experience where you go through similar experiences, but at a whole new level. It's almost like when you go through the first experience, you had no tools whatsoever. And then the second time, maybe you came around to a new relationship with somebody new, and you think, same old stuff again. This time, though, you have tools, and you can actually work through it more effectively. Nancy, hi, love. And maybe the next time you go through the, you're going to a relationship, you're at a high level again. This time, the the, no longer it's tools, they're power tools, meaning that you have more skill, more talent, more ability, more awareness to deal with your issues, so you're actually at a higher level. So even though you may have had the same pattern show up the first time, second time, and third time, who you are now, what your tools you bring to the table, and the partner you're with are a much higher level, which means the relationship paradigm and the ability to, f to deal with those issues is much more um, self-honoring and much more, what's the word I'm looking for? Not holistic is the wrong word. Um, with much more compassion and care, I'll put it that way. So doing this work is so important because it changes the quality of your relationships, yes. It changes the quality of your partners you choose, yes. It also changes the quality of what experience you have when you, got, when you come up against your issues, when you hit those issues face on, you know, head on. You can, ch you can change how you relate. So this piece about spiraling is a, is a perspective on life that you may not have realized you're dealing with. I would suggest if you're watching my broadcast especially, you've changed since the first one I did, because the first one I did was almost three years ago, and all of us have grown in three years. I'm not saying because of my talks, but I'm saying in three years you've changed. I know I have. So it means that the relationships we have, and this is true of every, every area of life, by the way, not just relationship, but in every part of life, each time we visit it, we've changed and grown. I was talking to somebody on Sunday at Agape. I've been going for 25 years now. And who I was when I first started going to Agape and who I am now are very different. So I know that I've changed. And yes, I've been through other classes and other things too, but just evolution and just growing and also <laughs> maturing through age also has an impact on you. So what I'm offering to you is a suggestion that, that it's possible that your life is changing. Even though your patterns may not appear to be changing, they are. So this is a message of hope. <laughs> and, and I will put some invitations out there to you for you as well. Um, this is one of those topics that may be a little bit more challenging to understand. I hope this made sense to you as I did it and trying to explain it. But it's something I've learned very clearly with my clients, watching them transform through working together. Same as it is with the, tr with the trainings and workshops I've been through and watching people go through their own journeys. The more you choose the path of growth, of evolution, of transformation, the more that everything transforms around you, including your relationships, and especially the one with yourself. That's why I do what I do. So with that, I'm gonna give you some links you can check out if you want to. Um, if you wanna see the broadcast from the beginning, please go back and do that as well when, it's like when I complete. But I will put some links in the comments because I wanna invite you to do some work on yourself. First of all, I'm, I'm, put, I'm giving you this in reverse order, by the way, because I already mentioned these at the beginning. I mentioned my book at the beginning, so I'll put a link to my book in the comments so that you can check it out, get your own copy. It's a nice soft cover, great book, and I am biased. I'll also put a link in the comments to my self-love practice because my self-love guided meditation is one of those tools that helps you go deeper inside yourself and elevate and raise up your own relationship with yourself. That's what I'm recommending it. It works. It's powerful, and it's simple, and it's elegant. So that'll be in the comments. There's a guided meditation, two guided meditations, actually, with a workbook. I recommend you check it out. Thirdly, which will be the first thing on the list, for the ladies in particular, is a link to having a discovery session with me, a complimentary chat. So I can see where you are, where you want to go, and if I can help you get there. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I'm not going to promise that I will work with you, and you would have promised to work with me. But I'm going to put the link there so you can check it out. It's going to be a chat. Um, it's a 30 minute conversation, a gift from me to you. So those three links will be in the comments. Um, replays, you can find me, watch my broadcasts. This is my everyday broadcast, 5 p.m. Pacific time, every day of the week. Um, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays are on my business page. We can watch them there. If you like my page on, on uh, Facebook, which is Barry Selby to author, you've got three, four hundred of them there. They're not all there, I know. That's one of the problems I found that Facebook has not been keeping all of them. But I've been backing them up. 
So we put them onto YouTube because YouTube is a much more stable video platform, it seems. Sorry, Facebook. Um, so I've got them all there. So you go to my YouTube channel on, on uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and go to the playlist there. Please subscribe, by the way. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. You can watch them all in order from newest to oldest. You can scan through, find out that speaks to you, choose one that you want to resonate with, and you can comment there, reach out to me over YouTube as well as you can over Facebook. If you want to get help, you can do that. These messages are meant to inspire, evoke, and uh, inform you. Hopefully that has done its job. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow with another topic. That'll be episode 861. You know where to find me live, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page. I'm going to go break bread shortly because it's, uh, it's the end of Yom Kippur, so I'm break fast tonight. And I've got a lot of people I'm going to be meeting up with. So I'm actually been, I bet you've been fasting today, so I'm like kind of hungry. So I'm going to sign off now, so I'm going to do that. But I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me as always. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And if you have questions, comments, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. And as always, take care of yourself. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.